Morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for uh, Thursday's trading session, the 13th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so an interesting session overnight. Uh, Nikkei down 125, 0.7%. The Shanghai managed to eke out again, even though we had concerns. And the major concern really overnight was the, um, well, uh, a few concerns, but the main one, and the one that market focused on really was North Korea, uh, preparing some sort of imminent um, news conference, uh, apparently some uh, invited journalists, etc., uh, to basically announce something, and that obviously didn't really materialise. Uh, okay, and that certainly, uh, well, the market certainly has uh, taken, its, uh, taken it in its stride, okay, so I'm not sure what exactly this uh, special announcement was that he had, uh, he'd call all the journalists in for, etc., have absolutely no idea. Uh, I think the last time it happened, it was something uh, insignificant. So that certainly was weighing on the market overnight, okay, in terms of the uh, risk sentiment, okay. Uh, apparently, the, the news is that a satellite photo will show North Korea nuclear site primed and ready for apparently a, a missile strike on uh, on Saturday. Uh, Japan's RB warns North Korea could fire sarin loaded missiles. So, uh, I mean, a lot of this is noise, really. I mean, it's got to a point where it is certainly noise. Now, you also have the situation with regards to Syria and uh, the USA, uh, de-escalation there with Lavrov and Tillerson certainly meeting uh, in terms of uh, the Russia and US relationship, okay, so again, that aspect certainly needs to be taken into consideration too, okay, overnight we also had Chinese data as well, Chinese exports and imports certainly beating expectations, trade balance certainly very strong uh, and certainly remains very bullish there, okay, so that certainly was a status quo overnight. Uh, in terms of this morning, let's just uh, go over the data for today uh, and uh, let's just quickly run through that with you uh, for uh, this morning. Okay, so you had um, overnight a business survey, uh, Chambers of Commerce, uh, BCC, UK business survey uh, reported stronger growth. German inflation certainly weaker this morning. Also, we've had Mr. Trump all overnight stating that uh, he prefers a weaker dollar and he prefers lower interest rates and, and he was uh, certainly attempting to... Uh, uh, to obviously um, uh, talk down the currency. Also, Mr. Trump did not uh, label China a currency manipulator. So again, that certainly is a uh, is a good step in terms of relationships certainly coming together, and therefore is bullish. Again, the reference to de-escalation certainly is strong. Uh, French inflation as well on the weaker side. So again, supporting the ECB's QE policy. Okay, euro did pop on the back of Trump's comments, and sterling certainly has popped today as well. If you bring up the chart of sterling, you can see the pop, and that's the reason why you're seeing weakness in the uh, in the FTSE as well this morning. So you can see we've uh, certainly popped as high as up to approaching that 1.26 level. So again, certainly impressive bounce on, on sterling. Also the euro as well, you've seen a pop on the euro, 60 minute chart on the back of Trump comments. We were already building a base around that 1.0580, and we've certainly popped high, although we are retracing now, we've given back a lot of the gains. So uh, again, keep an eye on that. In terms of the next market move, okay, so uh, BOE credit conditions certainly on the decline. Uh, again, that certainly isn't a good sign. So again, exerting further pressure on the FTSE to a large extent. Oil certainly seems to have sold off on the back of obviously de-escalation. Copper really is the main, uh, shall we say, um, victim. Okay, let's just bring up the chart of copper. Uh, again, Mr. Ashraf Ladi referred to this as well. Okay, so copper certainly has been butchered as of late, 60 minute chart. Certainly has bounced though, we've seen a bounce here now, so that's good, okay, certainly a good sign for risk sentiment. Okay, so 60 minute chart, certainly did break new lows, but certainly trying to uh, recapture that low now. So let's see how, we, how the uh, chart of copper plays out and let's see how it reacts, okay. Right, uh, in terms of the market then, uh, let's look at the technical picture, let's see exactly where we stand, okay. The daily chart first and foremost, folks, okay. We still haven't filled, closed that gap at 12,000, so again, that certainly is interesting, even with all this uh, ongoing uh, geopolitical tensions, although it has eased now, but certainly uh, with North Korea as well be, be, being very adventurous overnight. Now, one of the things that's interesting is that Mr. Trump failed to label China a currency manipulator because he wants China on board to neutralise North Korea. So there's no way North Korea will misbehave now with the Chinese, obviously, on the back end. Given the fact that the Chinese have reversed the coal shipments and now... I've stopped uh, obviously importing coal from North Korea, and I've obviously replaced that with the U.S. And again, Mr. Trump can uh, can certainly uh, certainly uh, uh, celebrate that victory, stating that he wants to revive the coal industry and fossil fuel, etc., etc., and create jobs and so on and so forth. So, 
Again, that certainly is a, a, a political um, pawn that's been uh, played by uh, Mr. Trump and claiming that China will obviously aid him and therefore he will not be uh, as uh, negative as he has been or he will not be as critical as he has been with regards to China in terms of them obviously being a currency manipulator even though he himself has attempted to manipulate the currency of the dollar lower so interesting scenario interesting scenario to say the least okay so German DAX daily chart certainly a uh, doji candle has certainly has held ever since uh, we are still negative at present certainly hurting in terms of the euro uh, yields rising as well if you look at the bonds let's just bring up the bonds for you give you show you show you here the bonds have certainly broken out okay so the next real resistance of the bonds is around the 164 164.5 uh, you do have some resistance here and here so let's watch out okay in terms of uh, the uh, bonds uh, so given the fact that mr trump's comment certainly is uh, is forcing bonds higher yields higher in the eurozone okay and again that certainly is, exer is exerting some pressure on european equities so just bear that in mind that certainly that place certainly remains valid Okay, so going back to the German DAX now, 60-minute chart, we've closed the gap. Okay, potential retest can uh, is certainly uh, valid at the pivot low of 12.070, and obviously you've got gap fill below as well. So let's see what happens. Now, my anticipation and my expectation was that we were consolidating here, and the head, head obviously was going in here, and then we were looking to potentially rip higher, okay? That was my understanding and my interpretation of de-escalation, and that certainly is so, especially given the fact that we are going into light volume, Easter period now as well. You are going to see volume dry up, okay, and you should see a rally in European equities and global equities from my perspective. Obviously, we have the bank earnings as well today, so the bank earnings certainly will cause some create some sort of volatility. We also have uh, the North Korean situation still lingering, so we still don't know exactly what Mr. Mr. Kim Jong was referring to. But given the fact that the Chinese have struck a deal with the US now, should I think we are going to be uh, much calmer waters ahead, let's put it that way, okay, the stormy waters are over. Okay, so that certainly remains a status quo for the German DAX. 10-minute uh, chart and the German DAX here certainly attempting to build a base now, attempting to, to hold support at 12,100. We have an unfilled gap above, a resistance above, so let's see how the market reacts there. Okay, so let's watch out for potential support. Okay, in terms of the um, French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. Uh, daily chart, the French CAC certainly uh, holding that potential previous resistance equals support. Still within that bullish channel. Let's see if we can hold that. 60 minute chart back into support now, folks. Back into that key zone of support for the French count we've always bounced from. Let's see exactly how that uh, plays out. Okay, so connect the uh, highs here. Excuse my yawning. Okay, connect the highs here. Okay, so again into support on the French CAC. The 10 minute chart from my perspective looking to bounce now. Okay, let's just clean this chart for you, folks. Okay, so see exactly how this market's holding that pivot low from from the uh, yesterday so again potentially a good sign we have gap fill to close here we've got horizontal previous support equals resistance here okay so again you're looking for gap fill at 5 100 on the french gag so again that that will be your target in the uh, interim for my interpretation okay let's move on okay let's go on to the FTSE 100 now FTSE 100 again i've highlighted this hns formation for quite some time now Ever since we put those topping tails in, right shoulders holding FIB 75%, it made sense to be on the short side. Uh, in terms of the HNS, just be aware that it's a HNS in play, but given the fact that uh, Trump's attempted to talk the dollar down, again, helps commodities and uh, Chinese exports, imports certainly very stellar overnight, so again, helps the risk rally and the risk trade and keeps emerging markets supported and therefore FTSE by a commod. Okay, and obviously the de-escalation certainly is going to help as well in terms of sending the dollar lower. So everything really is indicating bullish, bullish, bullish from my perspective. Okay, uh, FTSE 100, uh, HNS will not will certainly need to be put to bed, put, uh, put on pause for now. 60-minute chart, there was support around the 7315 and 7335. Both haven't have failed to hold due to the uh, sterling strength, but I am looking for a short squeeze very shortly and very imminently. Okay. In terms of the 10 minute chart, let's just quickly show you the 10 minute chart whilst we're here. Okay, so 10 minute chart certainly is building some type of base. Let's see if we can uh, hold that and remain steadfast here. Uh, my interpretation would be that you are looking for some sort of uh, falling contracting wedge pattern and then a rip, uh, rip your uh, rip, rip, rip raw higher down to up to 7355 on the FTSE to close the gap above. Okay, that would be my. Uh, play for the FTSE and I'm certainly long as well, as well so certainly I'm talking my book here to a large extent but 
explaining why I'm long as well. So certainly looking to rip high up to, up to gap fill, potentially hit a 200 MA, potentially even go up to 7380. So bias certainly remains bullish at this juncture from my interpretation and my reading on the markets. Okay, especially with Easter holes coming up now as well, like volume markets certainly favor the upside. Okay, European in, in equities. Let's just look at European equities now. Daily chart at the moment. Uh, you had that bear flag. Really didn't uh, play out as expected, although we did consolidate for some time. Okay, daily chart at the moment. You obviously have horizontal support. We're holding that level around the 3450, the 3450 level. 60 minute chart, the euro stocks, you're into horizontal support again. So therefore, bias will be bullish from my interpretation. 10 minutes chart, again, you've bounced and held off that double bottom. So again, let's see exactly how the markets react at that juncture. In terms of the upside, you are looking at gap fill uh, eventually, okay, on the uh, euro stocks, and, and they are your levels using your fib high. Sorry, pivot high, you have this diagonal trend line, hasn't really been respected. Let's ignore that for now. And you're looking for gap fill. That's what I will be targeting. Gap fill at 3470. And then we'll see exactly how this market responds. Potential upside ahead as well. Okay, on that note, I think that's a good uh, wrap up for the morning. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and also visit Trade Signal at 2. Goodbye now.